but it's uh it's pretty much been taken out Eros, you're getting me tangled up here <laughs> okay say that again i'm gonna say that again Wind storms do take a toll on the trees out here. We've got a little bit of wind right now. It's not as bad as it just was a little bit ago. A large section of this tree right up there. I'm not sure if you can tell which one I was pointing at. Maybe I'll go up with the drone later when it isn't windy and give you a close up. Anyways, a large section of that tree did just come down, fortunately. Fortunately, it was right on the other side of this privacy fence. It was a really old shed. I don't think my neighbors actually stored anything in it, but it's, uh, it's pretty much been taken out. I happened to be out here at the time and I saw that come down. I'm glad this wind event is happening now when it's a little warmer. A few days ago, the temperatures were a lot lower and we got a lot of ice. The branches out here, a lot more of them would have come down if they were brittle with the cold and heavy with the ice. The creek down here is about as full as I've seen it. All that snow and ice melted and we've had a lot of rain, so it's it's looking like a real creek right now. Usually it's just a little trickle. Here's another near miss. This branch is big enough that it could have done a little bit of damage. It's not as big as that other one, but look at how it landed. I mean, it landed just perfectly to not do any damage. It's the next day and we have better weather. The goats have been working on this. Let's go ahead and give them access to the rest of this branch. Most of the stuff that came down was pretty small, but there were a couple of good sized branches. I've already been cleaning up out here. This pile will be fed to our goats slowly. I've noticed that the goats just eat more of it if I give them just a little bit at a time. Not all of this was from our yard. A lot of it I collected from our neighbors and from stuff that came down in the street out here in front of our place. Goats. Goats! <laughs> I 
I've already been around the forest loop trail. I'm heading back in with my chainsaw. A tree fell right across the trail and I want to clear the path. Pretty sure this tree was dead already. It's too big for me to do anything except just cut out the section that defines the trail. Mission accomplished. This tree was severely damaged by the storm, but it wasn't dropped. Its days are probably numbered but I'm not gonna cut it down. This isn't our property back here. So I'm not gonna drop any tree that's still standing. I will, however, deal with it if it falls across and interferes with the trail access. This video isn't very long, so let me just show you a couple of other things that I've been doing out here lately. First of all, Wendy is in the office at work today, so I have to keep arrows our new rescue dog close by. He has a lot of separation anxiety and just gets a little too worried when his people aren't around. Eros, you need to stay here, okay? I'll be right back. The goats finished this branch off pretty well.
It's okay, Eros. It's okay, Eros. I'm right here. Yes. Chipping and shredding out here is pretty much endless. It's okay, I'm right here. <laughs> Eros. I'm right here. All right, come on, come on, Eros. We're now fully stocked on alfalfa. The price and quality are much better now that we're buying directly from local farmers rather than a feed store. One of my projects for today, if I can get to it, is installing battery powered tap lights in the goat stalls, in this feed area, and under our new covered deck. I didn't get any video of stocking up this alfalfa. It was late in the day, it was raining, and I had a lot of other chores that I needed to do out here. We used tie-down straps to hold tarps over the hay bales in the back of the truck so they wouldn't get wet. Unfortunately, that didn't work out quite as well as I'd hoped. The tarps didn't blow off, but they did blow back around the straps enough that the tarps were kind of useless. We stopped at a store nearby and got this. It's a cargo net designed for a pickup truck, but it's made entirely out of bungee cords. Eros, you're getting me tangled up here. <laughs> okay, say that again. I'm gonna say that again. It worked great, and I'll try to get video of it the next time that I need to use this. I did do quite a bit of chipping and shredding out here the other day. Pine cone bark mulch was shredded directly under this tree. Come on, Eros. Come on. And freshly shredded tree branches are now lining this path, so it looks really good now. This pile of bark mulch was from a very large pile of branches that I had right here. I refilled this raised bed and started in on this one. From finished compost that was in this bin. Clearly, These two compost bins need to be torn apart and rebuilt. But that project is gonna to have to wait until this compost bin is empty and this compost is not finished yet. I will be rotating this material over here. But as you can see, there's not a lot of room for it right now. Hopefully soon enough, I'll be able to do that rotation. Some of our newest chickens have just started laying their first eggs. When chickens just start laying eggs, they can be pretty small. Look at the difference. This carton is for our friend Dennis. He helped me move those chickens from the grow out mobile coop to our main flock. Because a lot of these eggs are pretty small, I'm giving them a few extra, along with a few of the extra large ones too.
these lights would have come in handy when I was stacking this hay the other night. I'm not sure if I've hung enough lights. I'll come back out at twilight and we'll just see how bright it is.